Well, 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 the sequel no one really asked for, but everyone is surprisingly super excited about, has finally been announced. The first gameplay trailer for Rage 2 made an appearance this week, and hidden amongst the 90 seconds or so of footage is a lot of information about this upcoming apocalypse map. Once again, I've donned my detective goggles and cobbled together as much information about Rage 2 as I could find, so I can present it to you in the following list video. Rawr! That that was meant to be a, a mutant scream, but I, I, I guess it didn't really work out. When the asteroid hit, billions were gone in the blink of an eye. So first things first, I think it's safe to say that the voice you just heard is probably going to be the voice of Rage 2's protagonist. In the original Rage, you played as a character named Lieutenant Nicholas Rain, but he was your typical strong silent type who never said a word throughout the entire game. According to Bethesda's press release, in Rage 2 you'll be playing as someone named Walker, who's described as the last ranger of the wasteland. Whether or not this is actually a Chuck Norris simulator in disguise is yet to be confirmed. I mean, it's almost certainly not, but I'll be very surprised if the devs don't sneak in at least one cheeky reference somewhere. Either way, it'll be interesting to see if we bump into Rain as an NPC during Rage 2's campaign. Oh, and on the bad guy side of things, the Authority, the main enemy faction from the first game, will be returning, but this time they're led by someone called General Cross, who, according to Bethesda's blog post, is willing to slaughter everyone to achieve his goals. Ha! Huh, no wonder he's called Cross with that kind of attitude. He sounds like a right nasty piece of work. Anyway, I'll be going into more detail about Cross's goals in a bit. So this next point is part speculation on my part, but in a Bethesda blog post, Walker is called the last ranger of Vineland. Now, while this and the previous game are both set on Earth, the original game seemed to be set in a fictional location named The Wasteland. A little bit of googling, however, tells me that there is in fact a real-world location named Vineland, which can be found in New Jersey in the US of A. Whether or not this Vineland features some recognisable real-world locations remains to be seen. It may very well turn out to be 100% fictional. But, as you can see from these trailer shots, the locales in Rage 2 are definitely going to be much more varied than they were in the original, this time featuring forests and swamps alongside the standard deserty wastes. Right, let's get on to why General Cross is after your hide. It turns out Monsieur Le Cranky is on a mission to hunt down the last few remaining pure-blood archists that are left across the world. Why might he do this, you wonder? Well, it has everything to do with something called nanotrite abilities, which can only be harnessed by rangers with archist blood. Obviously, Walker is the last ranger still alive, so it stands to reason that Cross has him in his uh, crosshairs. Now, in these trailer shots, you can see at least some of these nanotrite abilities in action, including this force push, this powerful ground slam ability, and this one here, which seems to launch Walker into the air. He also performs a Doom-style double jump here, which gives the impression that the combat will have a similar feel to that of id's recent Doom game. Nanotrites don't just affect Walker's movement though, he can also channel them into his weaponry. On the Bethesda blog post, this technique is called Overdrive, and activating it will increase the damage dealt by your guns, give your guns new attributes like this crazy ability to juggle your enemies with bullets, and it will also make enemies drop better rewards, whilst also regenerating your health. Cracking! By chaining nanotrite and overdrive abilities together, you should be able to quickly refill your overdrive meter and keep that wave of destruction crashing down upon your foes. 
Basically, it seems like Overdrive will provide a flow to the combat that feels very similar to something like Doom's glory kill system. Upgradable weapons were definitely a thing in the first Rage, but only on a very basic level. Bethesda blurb for Rage 2 states that weapons will be upgradable in this sequel, but by how much we don't yet know. You can see in this comparison shot that there's a different skin on the combat shotgun here, which points to us being able to skin all of our weapons as well as upgrade them. Also making a welcome return is the classic Rage wing stick, although going by this shot here, it has the potential to be upgraded into something a little more explosive than just a standard boomerang. Rage isn't Rage without vehicles and vehicular combat, and this gameplay shows off some brilliant examples of extreme four-wheel action. This shot here seems to show some homing rockets hitting another vehicle, suggesting that our chariots of the wasteland will also be upgradable, just like the weapons. Plus, there seems to be some new types of vehicles, like these tank stroke 4x4 combos and this awesome monster truck. Not only that though, there's also a few blink and you'll miss some shots of a full-on gigantic steampunk mech suit. Will most of these vehicles be confined to enemies only, or will we get the chance to jump in and drive them all ourselves? So far, the answer to that question is unknown. So we touched on the big bad General Cross earlier, but what about the other enemies we'll be facing? Well, alongside the Authority, we'll also be squaring up to different factions of raiders and mutants, much like in the previous game where we fought against ghosts, scorchers, the wasted, gearheads, and more. I'm not 100% sure what factions will be making a return here, but going by all the different types of armor on show, it's safe to say there'll be plenty of teeth to kick in, no matter what banner they fight behind. We can also see that large mutants make a return alongside the three-story tall giant mutant, which you would have thought if you played the first game, although this time it looks like he has much more armor grafted onto his body. In fact, it looks kind of similar to the armor on these weird half-cyborg, half-mutant enemies who could possibly be a brand new breed of authority mutants. Those were the mutants that were under direct control of the Authority themselves and who would attack humans and other mutants alike in Rage 1. Only a quick shot this one, but it's enough to bring a smile to any Rage fan's face because it confirms that Mutant Bash TV, the Wasteland's most ultra-violent game show, will be making a return appearance. There's not much to go on here, apart from the fact that at least one of the games will be a Wasteland version of clay pigeon shooting. But instead of clay pigeons, here you need to blast mutants covered in gas canisters as they're fired out of giant cannons. Oh, beautiful. Okay, this final point isn't found in the trailer at all. In fact, it was found in one of the screenshots that Bethesda included in its Rage 2 press release. This creepy old man here is one Antonin Kavassia, who seems to be the only confirmed returning NPC so far. He was already pretty ancient in Rage 1, so we can safely assume that this sequel is set around the same time period as the first game. Also, in the original game, Antonin worked with the Resistance to create weapons, including the mind control bolts for the Striker crossbow, so chances are it will be him you need to visit if you fancy upgrading any of your guns. And that's about as much as we know about the game so far, but what about what we don't know? Will we be able to play the campaign in co-op like we could the last game? Will there be PvP? Will there be some kind of battle royale mode crowbarred in because that's all the rage nowadays? Let us know your thoughts about these things in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more Rage 2 videos in the near future. And do have a lovely rage-filled day. Goodbye. Insanity rules.